Hey everybody, this is Rob from Junkhead Jane. This is going to be the second episode of our band vlog. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our new single, Brown Sugar. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, pretty much anywhere you can stream music. So go online and stream it and give it a listen and uh, comment in the comment section below what you think. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So for this episode, I'm going to be talking a little bit about how I put Junkhead Jane together. I started this band back in January of 2019. And at the time I was playing on Broadway in a cover band at this place called Paradise Park. And Paradise Park had just gotten bought up by a country artist. We had lost our gig and everybody that worked there lost their job. And at the time I had been playing like three to five gigs a week on Broadway for over two years. And I was just getting fucking sick and tired of playing cover music and just playing music I wasn't into. Um, I'm going to have a separate video of me talking about my experiences on Broadway, but that's another video for another time. Uh, and I digress, but I just wasn't happy playing cover music. I'm, I hate playing music that I don't like playing. And, um, and initially it was started out really cool, but it just got to a point where I got kind of bored and I wanted to, I wanted something fresh and new. So I had about five or six original tracks that I recorded and produced and they were all instrumental because I played guitar at the time and I didn't sing but I played guitar and played bass and programmed the drums to these six uh, original instrumental tracks that I had and I was like looking for a singer to come and write lyrics and you know record vocals over them so I reached out to a former bandmate of mine by the name of Bo Lastovich. And Bo's got his own band. They're called True Villains. And y'all should check them out because they're really dope. But anyway, Bo um, reached out to his friend named Zach Martini, um, who is a singer, and got me in touch with him. So me and Zach ended up recording some music together, and he ended up writing lyrics and singing over those six instrumental tracks I had. But... You know, uh, like anything, it just kind of fell apart. Um, our egos kind of clashed, and it just didn't end up working out. And I just, and that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back for me. At that point, I was just like, fuck it, I'm just going to start singing, and I don't give a fuck, like, how bad I sound, or if everybody fucking hates my voice. I'm just going to fucking work at it, and I'm going to practice, and, uh, you know, because this is what I want to do. You know, I want to make my own music because... You know, making my own music and playing it is, it's fun, you know, it's its so much better for me than, like, playing other people's music and playing music I don't really enjoy. I don't know, I, I get a thrill from, like, coming up with riffs and, like, writing songs and everything. So for me, like, learning how to sing was um, real crucial for me, you know, I did it out of necessity. So... I ended up um, moving back home to Charlotte, North Carolina um, with my girlfriend in, I think, yeah, I think it was May of 2019. And my plan was to move uh, back home because in Nashville I wasn't really doing anything. The thing with Zach fell apart. I wasn't playing on Broadway anymore. I didn't really have any reason to stay here in Nashville. So I moved back home with my parents um, and I was living in their basement with my girlfriend and I was just writing and recording music. At the end of that year, I had formed a band, um, and we called ourselves uh, Hang the Hipster. And Facebook um, took our page down because we had a album cover made by my friend's girlfriend, and it depicted a hipster hanging from a tree. And uh, Facebook didn't like that very much, so they uh, banned the page. And um, and I kept trying to make new Hang the Hipster pages, but they kept on fucking taking them down and shit. So 
I was just like, uh, I'll just fucking make a new band name. Um, so I ended up calling us Junkhead Jane from a song that, um, that we have called Junkhead Jane. And it's actually a Breaking Bad reference. Um, it's about like Jesse's girlfriend who's like a heroin addict and everything in the show. But I thought it was a cool, like catchy song title. I formed a band. Um, the Hang the Hipster band that eventually changed into Junkhead Jane. And we played like four or five shows, but then COVID hit and um, that put everything to a screeching halt. And that was back when like people were afraid to like go out, go outside. So even the band members weren't down to come over and um, rehearse or do anything. So well, I was kind of in this weird limbo stage with my music and, you know, I just try to stay productive by writing and recording new music but it was kind of hard to stay motivated without a band that wanted to get together and do everything so at the time um me and my girlfriend decided to move back to nashville here i brought the idea up with uh the band members at the time from charlotte and the guitar player and the bass player just couldn't do it because the guitar player um, was a student in, in college and the bass player had, uh, you know, has a wife and a lease on his house and everything. And they're awesome people, but it just didn't work out. And the drummer was planning to move here with me, but he ended up getting tied down in a family situation. So he ended up um, not being able to relocate here to Nashville. Um, so I ended up moving back to Nashville here in like June, June or July of 2020 this year. I ended up switching to bass and singing um, because I couldn't find a fucking rock bass player to save my life. I decided, um, you know, since it's easier to find other rock guitar players, I'll be a singing rock bass player and, you know, start my own group and everything. So I ended up running an ad on Craigslist and looking on Facebook and Instagram for guitar players and found two really badass guys and on top of that they're you know an awesome hang and really down-to-earth people and you'll get to meet them next episode but I found them at the end of August and we found a drummer by the name of Jaden in November but he ended up quitting the band a month later which he actually quit the band earlier this week um, for just life reasons so we're actually in the process of finding a new drummer, um, but that's pretty much where we're at right now with the band. So for the next episode, um, I'm going to be introducing Luke and Devin, our guitar players, and we're just going to be talking about, um, you know, how we all met. So if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and go check out our music at junkheadjane.com. And until then, peace out, guys.